Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another brand new video. Today in this video, we'll be learning a very simple thing, and that is using the compositor to do our color corrections. So you've got a render and you want to color correct it, but you don't have GIMP or Photoshop. So you can use Blender's compositor, cos compositing system, which I'm just going to show you a few basic notes to um, learn. And that can change your render to look even better. So there will be more tutorials on their way. Uh, this one's just going to be a very quick, easy one, but quite useful still. Um, as I said, let's get started. So I've set up my compositor here with my rendered image, the backdrop, uh, with it connected to a viewer node, and this is what we're going to be using. Get rid of this for now. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to zoom in and out. So hit V to zoom in, and Alt slash Option V to zoom in and V to zoom out, like so. So, so once you've got that done, I'm just going to make a bit of space here. I'm going to go Shift A, and the first thing I'm going to add, and I would always add, is the RGB curves. So these change the contrast plus the colors. really enhance the render even if you alter it the tiniest bit it can have a really awesome effect on your render. Something like that um, I'm going to use today. The next thing I like to add is just a really straightforward brightness and contrast. Even though you can do this in curves, I like just having the simple numbers that I can do. So that basically adds brightness, that heightens the contrast, something like that. The next thing I like to add so I like to go down to color balance. Now this node is a really, really powerful node. It can change a lot of things like that. And you can use it to create some really subtle really subtle effects. Another node I like to do is a uh, mix node and I'm, I like setting mine to uh, overlay and choosing a deep blue and turning the factor. You, I like having it on overlay. That just adds a nice night bluish, purplish tinge to the whole image. That's using the mix node basically adds a tinge or a tint, as you could say, to the whole image. So let me just check if I'm missing any nodes. Ah, yes. The last node I like to use, let me just move this across. In most situations, I add a filter glare node, change it to fog glow. And this just gives the lighting a bit of 
glow to it. It's very slight. Um, an example I can quickly show you is of the chair. I added a glare here and that just um, there's slight bits of red like there which is part of the glare. What else have I done with glare? Yeah, basically glare just adds a bit of a glow to it and I like setting it on fog glow. So these are the uh, five notes I really like to use to color correct my images in Blender. So if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'm no master of the compositor, something I still really, really need to learn. But this is basically how to use the compositor to do your color corrections. So thanks very much for watching, and I shall catch you in my next tutorial.